Hello everybody, so I'm back with another feng shui video. So I wanted to make a quick video because I had a customer ask me a really good question that I have not answered on YouTube yet. Um, it's a client of mine. So my client is, one of my clients was looking for a house near the ocean and she had a good question about does it matter if you're, I, I, did, um, I did make a video on swimming pools so I, I want to say this first before I go on with this video. Swimming pools like oceans and lakes and rivers are large bodies of water. When it comes to, when it, in classical feng shui, when it comes to very large bodies of water like a pond, a lake, um, an ocean, especially oceans, rivers, etc., um, that can impact the good energy or the bad energy, okay? So the pool is still a little bit the same rule as what I talked about um, or what I'm gonna talk about in here. Um, but one thing I forgot to, I think I forgot to mention in my pool video. Okay, um, I'll probably need to link the pool video down below. If you, or just go through my, uh, my playlist, Feng Shui playlist, and you'll find swimming, swimming pools was one of my videos. So that still applies kind of like this, except I, I believe, I don't know if I did. I don't know if I mentioned this, but just in case I forgot to mention this. Okay, so in period, oh, I need a piece of paper, another one. Anyway, maybe I'll use the back of one of these because I'm gonna use these. Okay, in period eight and period nine, okay, you're not supposed to have or see, like visually see, large bodies of water from your house. You shouldn't, you can, but you shouldn't, okay? Period, uh, by the way, if you're new to my channel and if you haven't looked at my feng shui videos, a period, when, when I say the word period in classical feng shui, uh, the word period means every 20 year cycle. It's a 20 year cycle, okay? Period eight, is the year 2004 through 2024. Okay, so we're still in period eight. It's not period nine yet. Uh, period nine or 2023 actually, sorry about that. 2024 through 2044 is the 20 year cycle of period nine. During both of these periods, um, you're, you're not, you shouldn't, I'll say you shouldn't see large bodies of water in the northeast area, um, the northwest area, the south area, and the west. Okay. Right now, hold on. Let me. Sorry. Am I yelling? Oh, sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> uh, why we would call that? This is what we call uh, indirect direct spirit, indirect direct energy, water energy. Okay. Um, so based on these periods you shouldn't have large bodies of water in those areas okay um if you have a bathroom like some of you might be like well i have a bathroom in my northwest or my west um is it okay to take baths because that's considered a decent amount of water yes you can take baths um uh during annual if there's a negative annual energy in that area i would not really spend that much time but again you're not going to spend as much time in a bathroom as well some people do though some people spend a few hours a day in their bathroom getting ready so i guess i can't really say that it all depends again every house is a different case by case basis so it really depends if it's like a little um guest hallway bathroom that's rarely used or just used real quick you're not really you don't use it to get dressed you don't really use it to take baths it's not a big deal it's usually the bedrooms and the main rooms that we spend the most time in that matters but this is different because this applies to just seeing it so um if someone has a i'm okay let me go on with it. but anyway during period eight and period nine because we're about to come into period nine in just a couple of years right i keep saying that over and over again right we're already in 2021 now okay so we have a couple more years before we're in period nine okay so pretty much I look at everything as uh, as if we're we are in period nine for future energies anyway. But during these two periods, say for the next 24, 25 years, 23 years, you shouldn't really have a pool in these areas. You shouldn't, can you? Yeah, but I wouldn't. 
okay and you shouldn't have a lake in like if your house is if you have a lakefront home or maybe it's um, a vacation home I'll have to make a separate video on vacation homes because it depends how often you spend in the home but let's say if you if you buy a house on a lake and the lake is right in front of your house or a big river or you have a big pond and it's in any of these areas whether it's in the back the side of the front of the house um, especially the front because again the facing direction makes a big difference then this could be negative for you okay so swimming pools same thing but I'm going to talk about oceans because I had a client ask about is it good to buy a house on the beach is it good to buy a house on the lake well it depends the way it's facing or where it is around the house it's not just the facing direction but um, okay so these are just an example okay so I didn't draw the Northwest uh, this is just an example now before I show you let me scroll or go in okay um, I think my cat did that my cat likes to <laughs> scratch on my papers. Okay, so I drew a picture. Sorry, it's kind of crappy. Um, the ocean waves. Okay, this this would be beach homes, right? So, so let's take a look at these beach homes. Now, technically, um, if these houses are side by side, they're not actually going to be uh, they're going to be similar in degrees. Okay, I'm just that's obvious, right? If they're this close together. Um, it's probably not going to be this drastic of a difference in facing directions, but I'm just telling you an example. Let's pretend these are not actually right by each other. I'm just giving you examples of these, right? Just having a large body of ocean water right here, if your house faces south, right? Or if your house faces northeast, or if your house faces west, this is not good already. It's really not good. It also depends on the permanent energies, which I'm going to get into also. Now, what if your house, now what if the oceans, now what if this is the facing direction? Okay, so let's let's take a look at this way. So the opposite of south is north. Let's say, well, actually, it, okay, even if this is not the facing direction, this could be the back of their house, okay? Because normally we do go by the street road, right? But still, even if this, so even if this is not the facing direction, right? Even if this is the back, that's not good still to have this large bodies of water in these areas. You don't want them in the north, uh, northeast, northwest, west, and south. All right, so northeast, this is going to be this. So this house might be facing southwest, and this one's facing north, and this is directly their back, you know, the back of their, back of their beach house. So the beach is going to be behind in the back on their deck or whatever, west, uh, east, right? So this is just an example. But I also wanted to show an example. I should have done it backwards like this because normally this is probably the facing. But again, it depends on the energy. Sometimes we will see the ocean as the facing direction because it has more of the energy water constantly is moving energy never stops moving but water is constantly flowing especially a beach or an ocean or the ocean you know so let's take a look all right so if we are considering the facing direction um let me zoom in zoom in not scroll i'm such a retard sometimes sorry about that okay so just an example right whether this is the facing direction or not this body of water is already in the northeast now the north is fine for water and so is the east during period eight and period nine but take a look at that it's still and it's still being seen in the northeast right if you see it it's not that great it's all about visual and classical feng shui as well right um we already have a negative earth five that's hurting the money so that's like a double uh negative right there okay because all there's already large ocean lakes waters already in, a, in an area that you're not really supposed to see it. It's not really supposed to be around the Northeast area. Okay. Um, I had another client who her face, her house faces Southwest and the back of her house is Northeast. And she told me she wants to put a pool. And I told her, do not put a pool where it hits the Northeast. She said, well, like, can I put it in the east then? I said, yeah, but it has to only be in that area. It shouldn't touch the northeast. But if you could see it from, you know, basically it's still close enough. But again, I have clients that do what they want and that's okay, right? You're allowed to do what you want with your house, right? This is just basic going by classical feng shui. But, but take a look at the 8-5 combo, right? The 8 is technically good right now, even though it's weakening. I don't really see it as good anymore. So, but that's, this is the health and relationships. But we have that negative 5 for money. So money is really important to everybody, right? Some people think, well, I need money to buy my health, right? Health insurance, whatever. 
So you're, it's causing a double negative. It's already not good to have large bodies of waters in the Northeast. So when you have the five on the right, remember all the numbers on the right in each area is money. All the numbers on the left is health and relationships. So that five is being activated really bad and it's already in the Northeast, which is not good. And who does the Northeast affect the most in a house? Boys, young boys, sons, right? If you have a five-year-old or an eight-year-old boy, um, a son, you, you know, that's, he might have some issues with, well, the money, the eight's not that bad yet, but it's weakening. So let, let, let's just say if you have it, when this, when it becomes period nine and the eight is definitely negative. Okay. So the eight's going to turn negative in period nine. The, the young boys in the house that are 14 years and younger or 15 years and younger, they might have health problems when that eight turns negative permanently for a very long time, for a very long time, not permanently forever permanently forever, I mean, okay? But, or if you have a eight-year-old male dog, right? He might have health problems and it, it's ongoing. It's ongoing because of the ocean. Just saying that that's one of the ways to look at it. Um, if we take a look at this, this South, right? It's already not good having large bodies of water in the South and this is the money. Okay, the money. And, and again, if this is the facing direction, even if it doesn't have, even if there's no little boy living here, like you don't have a son, you don't have kids, that's still the, the facing direction still determines the money, how the money flows into the house. So even if there's no middle daughter that's getting affected because there's no daughters in the house, that still affects the money coming into the house and the seven is already negative. Yes, water does weaken metal. So whenever there's a seven, you need water. Yes, but not moving water, ocean water, no. Huh only a, like a vase stagnant water. <laughs> the ocean is constantly moving. Everyone that lives near a beach or has been to a beach or has a beach house, you know. This is why, <clears throat> this is partly why you see all these rich <laughs> um, abandoned or beach homes that are, I mean, yes, they're expensive in general. This is why you see a lot of people that are rich even lose their beach homes or whatever goes wrong because of the feng shui, right? Although to be fair in California, well, that's the West Coast right? The West Coast. Now, now, here we go. The West is not, the West is, is one of the, of the areas in period eight and nine to not have large bodies of water. So let's take, I'm from California, right? I'm from the Bay Area. So all my Bay Area friends, hey, <laughs> San Francisco Bay Area. Um, but, but take, but think of it this way, California, right? A lot of beach homes, you know, but a, not all of them might face directly west, but you know, that is the west coast, right? So you think about it, why there's so many beach homes that are not for, you know, nobody can buy them or there, there's plenty being bought, but you, this is why even celebrities or wealthy people have a hard time sometimes because in period seven, which was the year 1984 to 2003, the seven was good and the, the west was fine to have water, but once we hit period eight and period nine, you're not supposed to have large bodies of water in the west area okay but but let's take a look at a different way of seeing this so let's say let's talk about lakes so i just sorry about my drawing i know it's kind of crappy that's okay i did it really quickly so um so let's say this is like a little road a little subdivision or out in the country and they have a few trees here and um they have a lake here so it depends where you can see it if you can't here, here's another thing before you buy a house or you rent a, a, a place out if you can't see if there's water in those areas, like you look out your window and you know there's a neighbor with a pool in that area that would be in the west or be in the northwest or be in the northeast or sorry, yeah, or the north or the northwest. Sorry, this is oh the the, the north the north is okay. But if you if you if there is water in the areas that's not really your property, but your neighbor's property, but you property, but you cannot see it visually, see it from your window, it's not going to affect you. If you can see it, because yes, your neighbor's house can affect you as well, there's ways to remedy it. How would you remedy it? With plants, okay? It's still not good to have water, as long as you don't see it, right? But this is just an example of a lake. So it's not directly in front of their house, although yes, this looks like water. This is the road, like a windy road, right? Okay, so we have a lake be behind around these three homes right here. So even though they're facing would be east, the west, if they can see the lake, that's not good. Even though it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, it's very, very nice to have li live near a, a lake with water. It's, now, if, it's, if, it, if it falls on a side that's okay, then that's okay, okay? Like this house, like this would technically be the back of their house, so north. If they can see the lake from their north window or north patio or whatever, when they go outside in the backyard, that's okay because the north is okay to have water. That's why I put a check mark, okay. 
right? <laughs> if the back of their house is the northwest area and they could see the lake, that's not really good. And the northwest affects the father of the home. And if the northwest has bad permanent energy here or annual energy, that lake's gonna affect it even more. How to remedy it again? You wanna block it out with plants through your windows and maybe outside with trees. Again, I know it's, some people are like, well, I like looking at the lake. I like it, I like the water. Yes, technically water is very soothing. So I'm not, I mean, there's a lot of pros with, with just going to the beach and stuff, but um, this is just the cardinal rules in classical feng shui. So I just wanted to kind of get a, give a heads up. Before you purchase a house or buy a house or rent, or, you know, rent a house out, um, or rent or rent a house, um, it's important to know where these large bodies of water, water are. And if you, you are renting or buying a house with a pool already there, you need to find out where it is because it can affect the occupants of the home, okay? Um, and sometimes this is why we, it's not that we don't like pools, but a lot of classical feng shui consultants do not like dealing with pools <laughs> because sometimes there's no way around it, right? It, it, you know, you know, and sometimes they could just be money pits, but it is nice to have a pool. Don't get me wrong. Uh, we don't have one, but because I don't want, want one for a reason for certain areas. Okay. Um, but I do tell my clients it's okay to have an above ground pool sometimes in certain areas if it, you know, again, you, people can do what they want, but that's general, um, a cardinal rule in classical feng shui when it comes to large bodies of water. Before you buy that beach house or before you buy that lake vacation home, um, or, you know, you really wanna make sure the compass directions and if it's the best um, area to see the water, because in the long run, it could cause problems, okay? It can in the long run. It, yes, water is very peaceful, uh, but that's the way it goes. So um, this has been proven for hundreds and thousands of years or hundreds of years. So anyway, that's my video for you. I hope that helped. And if you would like your a feng shui consultation with me, all my links are down below. I will see you guys on my next video.